Hello, 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 everyone. This is Wolferton speaking, and welcome to episode 8 of Going Into Our Bennett Boy Tree for the United States of America. As you may have noticed, um, we did go a bit far, so we're still doing the keep committees in check. Wait, hang on, did I forget to debug this move again? If I did, I swear. Okay, it's turned off. Well, let's see how this will go. As you can, as you can, oh. as you can see, we already have, well, uh, well, you get the idea. Indonesia just madly imploded like heck. And let's just say the apple doesn't really fall far from the tree. But also, let's see. Bomb them. Bomb them. Let's see. And arm shipments. And equipment. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Expand development programs. I need that. I need that. I don't need to wor let I don't need to worry about Africa for now. I still have to worry about the Indonesian Civil War and the Colombian Civil War. We'll send in also advisors as well. Let's see. The last one was keeping committees in check. Most Americans experience with the legislation as the process begins and ends at the Oval Office, where the President signs Congress approving bills into law in front of cameras and key allies. What the memoirs and tabloids neglect to mention, perhaps, because of their comparative lack of gla glamour, if not scandal, is that these laws have to pass through a whole battery of different committees and subcommittees before they even apply the path of the bill. Let's see. Horton Dreams of Silver. Mark Mac Horton was in the business sell of selling dreams, a child's face brightening while they held up a miniature boat and all. A parent's smile, slight smile as they reach for a model ray gun. Perfect birthday present from from the till of his toy shop. Horton watched his customers pursue his collection, knowing that their money will, was a small price to pay for happiness. Horton, too, dreamed. He dreamed of expansion. He dreamed of millions of children in America in need of joy far beyond far beyond Lawrence, Kansas. But he'll need funds beyond what he currently had to expand into the next country over. I mean, county over, let alone nationwide. Whenever he'd visit the local bank to ask about a loan, he'd always had a rude awakening. There was money if he was ready to pay to un... Un unserious interest. Something about there was not being enough money, which sounded ridiculous. How could Uncle Sam not have two nickels to rub together? The loan officer would always shrug ap apologetically. What could be? What could he or Horton do? There was not enough silver in Washington. And so each week, Horton would walk into the bank branch with fading hope and walk out with drying dreams. Today would be no different. He was, he was sure until the manager whisked him into his office. Mr. Horton, there's some good news today. Silver is back. The dream yet lives. Gotta say, that's actually pretty neat. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Okay, so... Astute observers point out this facet of American lawmaking mind... <laughs> oh, hang on. I didn't get to read it yet. Byzantine nature. But for Beltway savvy participants, the, t the tedium this presents... Is a, love, is a beloved tool to keep the laws they dislike from ever seeing light of Capitol Hill. Mm-hmm. Ben, President Bennett is aware of the many ways his opponents can utilize this fearsome bureaucratic bludgeon to undermine the passage of his own Civil Rights Act, and plans to make appeals of support to his fellow RDs in the appropriate committees. So, uh, yeah. We'll gain support from two more senators from this deal, which should be actually pretty good. Okay, here we go. The right of free speech. Right of free speech is a core pillar of American society. To deny it to anyone, no matter their, no matter their opinion or stance on anything, is a gross breach of the vision our founding fathers had for this country. Both segregationists and civil rights activists call each other's words reprehensible, disgusting, and un-American. But truth is, we must allow them both to have a say in the matter. From both sides. We may not like what they have to say, but we should defend to the death their right to say it. From both sides, no matter who they are or what they have to say is right or wrong. We get event the Dixie Crats are pleased, slightly increased free press effectiveness. Taking this focus, relationship with Northern Democrats will, decay, will, decay, will decay quicker, and after completion, it will return to normal. Hmm, keep it vague. 
We know civil rights activists want to be heard and we hear them. We shall assure that they are important to us and that we are willing to do what needs to be done. We will promise them things that we will deliver at some point, as so when to, therefore, the op opportune opportunity arises for us. What are those things? When will they be delivered? Don't worry, the government knows what it's doing. The people should not worry themselves. They must understand that we are doing what we can, when we can do it, and if we can do it. Maybe. Gets event, the liberals are very wary. Democrat support for a bill will increase. Okay, well, our bill, our support for the bill will increase on the Democrat side of things, but uh, I'm not really sure about that. Discontent will increase. Let's see. Offer, uh, arrange a free Indonesian Congress. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Now I can increase, uh... Increase patrols there. Let's see. Okay, I'll supply napalm and the folios. And we'll do search and destroy, because why the heck not? Infiltrate the new Grenadian government. Fund jungle infrastructure. Hang on, I better, uh... Ooh, the North American B-70 Valkyrie. What's this? Superseding circumstances. The crowd had been gathering several hours outside the police station by the time the foreign co foreign colonel arrived. The police strained to hold the, the cordon. Oh, wow. Justice wore a uniform in Indonesia, except for there's another uniform entirely. Just one outrage amongst many. Really, that's got to be... Uh, offers from Roe. Get me the ambassador. Appeal to our Mormon friends. Raise our relationship with the Catholic Church. Work with OFN. Ease business spheres. Advocate for unity. We shall give concessions to conservative Republicans and Dixiecrats. Denounce civil rights protests. Nah, that's not going to be a good idea. Let's see. Hmm. Favor the nationalists. I know it's going to be a bit of a tricky one, but... Uh, I gotta appeal to the South at some point. I mean, George Wallace is the embodiment of the Southern cause. Well, not directly, but y you get the idea. Let's see. Strengthen pro-American sentiments. Oh. News from Tokyo. We cannot let Tokyo one-up us, one us in this Cold War. Our support is our support is durable by 78%. So uh, let's keep let's make sure we keep things good and balanced. Ah, hold a responsible White House meeting. Don't tell me. Oh man, dictatorships and double standards. From embers are flames. Oh man. American bi this will affect our GDP growth. Let's see. Count our pennies, reduce, reducing inflation. We'll try and fight a little bit of poverty, let's see. Since we're already doing any wars, let's, let, I wanna see if I can try and do a La Guana del Deserito incident in Patagonia. Where is the ambassador? Okay, good. I made the right choice with temporary tax hikes. Okay, we're gonna keep it vague. Let's see. Blue on blue. The soldier was quiet. One, the quiet one. Everyone said, "Don't talk." Didn't talk with others much. Never told anyone where he was from or why he joined the army. Not that anyone even asked. All anyone cared about now is in the, now in Indonesia, especially foreign advisors, what you could pick up a what you could pick up a gun, point it, and pull a trigger. He was good at it. Everyone agreed. Good enough to earn himself a clap on the back, 
a clap on the back and free drinks at the pub. From the advisors, they were the only ones with enough money for that. He drank at first, enough to put on an ele put out an elephant, earning himself two days punishment detail. Later, he didn't touch alcohol at all. The advisors were happy. They told him that he had gotten used to the killing just like them. When you could enjoy the full use of your senses even after watching a montage of death and gore, then you knew you were normal again. Every morning, the soldiers would listen to a readout on the changes along the line of contact. Mostly, it was localized to a specific sector. But every so often, a faraway city's capture or destruction would be mentioned, a reminder the officers said of what they were fighting for. It had been, day, it had been a day as normal as any other as the soldiers fi filed out, leaving the foreign advisor advisors to discuss today's objectives. There, before the soldier in question blew their brains out with his service right, rifle, painting the tent red before adding his own blood into the mix. Snuffed out just like the hometown nobody else knew. Aw oh, man, that that that's that's gotta be sad, man. Okay, we'll see if we can stem the tide a bit. Increase support for the free state of Magadon. Hi, there we go. Invest in diplomats for Italy. Oh, I forgot to do any international lead meetings. The liberals are getting wary. In, rec in, in recent weeks following Wallace Bennett, President Bennett's passing of a surprisingly conservative civil rights bill, liberals in Congress represented by the Democrats and some of the progressives have found themselves in an uncomfortable spot. Many voters back in their home states who elected them for liberal politics are quite dissatisfied with their acceptance and support of such a conservative piece of legislation. Consequently, should even more conservative action be taken in future, liberals face a serious threat of losing re-election. Understandably, many liberal congressmen are afraid that they may be replaced. In response, they have begun to rally and take a larger role in legislating. In addition, they are quite upset with President Bennett for threatening the fabric of RDC as a whole. Should they be facing, faced with voting for another conservative bill, it is unlikely that they will follow the President's lead, instead doing everything in their power to halt, it, halt its passing. Aw, oh, man. Urban voters and rural voters will... Tr will support the Progressive Caucus in one span of a week. That ain't good, fam. That's not good. The Battle for Italy. Joining the picket line. And Six Semper Tyrannus. Don't rock the boat, Bennett. Very good. We got all high expectations in American business, foreign business. American businesses, foreign businesses, Church of Latter-day Saints, Mormons, Catholics, and the Dixiecrats and Northerncrats. Although, they're, although this will affect our party unity is very middling. Let's see. This will. Let's see. I know Dixiecrats are high, but let's see. Encourage of accepting refugees. It may. It may put down our Dixie Crats, but I need to at least not. Why expand the OFN? Where will the dominoes fall? As they say. Yeah, that's something to actually really That's actually something to really focus on about. Let's see. Not not too little, not too late. Hmm. Ooh. Multi Political party, multi-party systems effectiveness, a bipartisan effort. A bipartisan effort. Nice. Stopgap measures. Won't somebody think of a com commutative dollar coins? With silver reserves at all-time low, metallic backing system in s that support American currency is in crisis. While Bennett, while the Bennett White House began to push their legislative reform plan, Treasury Secretary Robertson has already directed the U.S. Mint to take a variety of stopgap measures, halting production of a number of do denominations. The hope is that the decline in silver reserves will begin to stabilize. After all, we can't afford another pro proliferating at times like this. Won't somebody think of a commemorative dollar coins? This will grant us a new source of income that is worth 1% of our GDP. Okay. And a bipartisan effort. Let's try and do that. Okay, let's try and count our pennies this time. Mm-hmm. Oh wow, we're actually earning a lot more in production. 
Okay, okay, I see. Let's see, civilian austerity or military austerity? Let's see, military spending. Civilian austerity, let's try a... Civilian spending factor is this, consumer war support will go down by 10%. Well, at least military spending is slightly going up. I still need to make sure at least I'm not... Oh wait, I gotta make sure I also focus on what's happening in Indonesia. Influence the next Grand Marshal of... Ah, we can influence them. Cool. Indonesia, coordinate with Australian patrols. Hmm. Expand our fighter... Expand fighter shipments. Increase patrols in Arbinot. I, I really can't even spell spell it, which is kind of weird. And arm shipments and weapon shipments. I don't even like the Haitian Bush War. It just takes so mad long. Supply URC forces. Ah, supply cutoff troops. All right. Operation Concord, gotta keep supporting our South African ally. Reports on Colombian Civil War. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Well, don't tell me that we're gonna be heading into like a uh, expanding the war kind of territory, cause that's, that's just kind of weird. CIA networking. Community unity. The proposed renovation of Greenwich Village put to a council vote failed on a 27 to 24 vote. The project will not move forward, but may be reproposed during the next season. The calm voice of the Speaker of New York City Council barely registered before it was overwhelmed by cheers from the gallery. Greenwich Village inhabitants have packed the council room to pressure their representatives against temptations of developers lobbying. The center of the celebration was Jane Jacobs and her Greenwich Village Civic Group volunteers, all devoted New Yorkers determined to keep their homes. This was not Jane, this was not Jacobs and the GVCG's first clash with development projects pushed by wealthy interests. They had already prevailed once before. Jacob awarded words like triumph to describe their past successors. What sort of victory was it to be allowed to keep your home? Jacobs and her allies marched, petitioned, and protested, and even organized residents of every building on each affected block to pressure their council members and make their voices heard. This small community of old homes that were from the 19th century seemed quite the David to developers Goliath. However, the development plan's inclusion of a major road cutting through the heart of a community had united locals. Now, the power brokers of New York could, would retreat, regroup, and rework their plans. The right pressure on the anti-development council members or the right carrots offered to key members of the community could see the project squeak through next time. Whatever, whatever came through, Jacobs and her neighbors would be there to meet it. And after all, when, when someone comes to your home, you fight. A warrior for the cities. Man, J Jane Jacobs is a real go-getter. I have to say, because it's really nice. Oh, the Free State of Magadan? Wait, don't tell me... Oh, I thought... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought the Free State of Magadan, like, almost kicked the bucket. Hmm. I don't even know... The Unitary Republic of Indonesia. I don't even know why, but if you... <laughs> Indonesia is Tokyo's lifeline? Yeah, sure you are. Oh, wow. Magadan unites the Russian Far East. A strange development. Okay. Okay, let's see. Advocate. The Christmas War. Patagonia is a light. Concessions to Dixiecrats and conservative Republicans. And will advocate for party unity as well. Oh, I almost forgot to, uh...
pay up the Zabichi spread. I almost forgot to do that. I don't know why. Ah, yes, the ugly American um, events. Ugly words. Cleaning staff could hear the clicking of a typewriter just late into the night. Cable back. Oh, a cable back to Washington. Okay, okay. I, I see what you did there. Man, the, pr the Prime Military Council is losing. You know what? Screw this. I'm gonna do some crazy stuff. I want my side to win. Because I really wanted to. Okay, but still, I want to make sure I double check everything. Let's see. Mosul and Kir Kirkuk under Ahmad Barzini. Oh. Turkey is still under Izmet i Nanu. Next elections will be in January 1971. Legacy of the 5th and 6th Inspector Generals. The Hidden Lives of the Urban World. Philip Hart rarely fought about sidewalks beyond whether or not streets had them or if they were paved correctly. He certainly never fought about what effect they had in social order. Yet book, the book he read entitled The Death and Life of Great American Cities his offer, Jane Jacob opened his eyes to urban matters he'd never considered before. Having previously considered cities merely a mal agglomerations of people in concrete, Jacob claimed sidewalks acted as a stage for an intricate ballet in which individual dancers and ensembles all dis have distinctive part. Ooh, I gotta say, a new... He wanted to prepare his meetings with Jane, with Miss Jacob, after all. A new kind of city, or an older one? Ooh, Philip Hart meeting Jane Jacobs. I like that. Jean Kirkpatrick in Alexandria. Oh. Oh, Alexandria, right across the Potomac from Washington, D.C. She had already knew. Hmm. Hmm. Easy pickings. While there is no shortage of issues for the Bennett administration to tackle civil rights, stabilizing the RDC, the Japanese, and MPPs braying for war, everyone in Washington was just sick and tired of a post-war economic malaise. With over a decade of analysis by the Treasury Department and Federal Reserve, the problem, well understood by both the RDC and MPP, the depletion of America's silver reserves was pushing America exorbitantly towards a currency crisis. We need to do a stopgap measure. Fires grow hotter, let's see. We should approach Henry Jacobs of a progressive caucus. No, approach Wally Baron of a national caucus, let's see. We might be able to get a part of MPP on board with this. We need to find the right person to approach approach in either the nationalist or the progressive. Bennett leaned back, considering his two options. Well, given that it's my own party, we approach Wally Baron of a, of a nationalist caucus. Lacerda elected Brazil. Brazil draws closer towards the OFN. Oh man, don't t don't tell me Lacerda will do his imperial presence. Oh wow, the far right actually agrees with the Silver Act. Get with the times or be left behind. Rural, urban, and both rural and urban voters. For the RDs will support Republican for one week. Well, actually, this will raise support. Nationalists will raise support for the Silver Act. Rural voters support the Republican Party for one week. Urban voters support the Republican for one week. Rural voters support the Democrats for one week. Urban voters will even support the Democrats for one week. Oh, wow. Get with the times or be left behind. Now, that's what I call dedication. Let's see. Now we can try... Hmm. Let's, I want to see if I could try approaching George Wallace this time. Approach George Wallace, the fighting little governor. That one's going to be so good. I wonder how it'll go. Let's see. The right of speech. Rally congressional support. Rally the congressional votes. Actually, no. The right of free speech. Japan wins the issue. We need to double down our efforts. Hmm. 
the fighting little governor. They said this job was to be blank easy. After a long night on the congressional floor, President Bennett assembled us in the Oval Office itself the next morning. Free combat veterans. Free sovereign Democrat senators. Free figures in the Silver Act. Morning, gentlemen. Let's face the light here. The Silver Act is creeping up, but Congress remains polarized, and I fear the worst. I'm sending you free down to the Serpent of the South himself. George C. Wallace to guarantee the extra votes. Understood? And there we were. The room was silent. Three of us were silent. The governor of Alabama just sat there quiet. The whole blank building was just quiet. Thunder just, may I ask what you three are doing down here in my office? He said as he poured, as he, as the pouring of whiskey into five separate glasses flowed in front of us. One senator picked up first, coughing. Well, sir, the president sent us here to, oh, my apology, gentlemen, please. The travel, the travel must be dry, dry, must have dried your throats. Please, enjoy a drink, he interrupted. Don't worry, Mr. Governor, I do not drink, I said, shooting me with eyes like daggers. Now, as I was saying, sir, pre saying, sir, President Bennett sent us here to discuss the proceedings of the Silver Act coming up and how we can align our interests for the betterment of a nation. The senator said, Wallace swiveled his chair to face the man, stating, align our interests. Funny little phrase you put together, together there. Now, what could the president offer that I may want? The air in the, air in the room tightened like a noose around a criminal's throat. Well, segregation, sir, the young, the younger senator with a southern drawl voice. Wallace turned. So, Bennett finally eased down on protecting the Afros. Well, you have my attention, gentlemen. Go on. The governor asked with a wicked smirk and un unending stare. Well, I finally spoke up. The president would be glad to have your support as well as the national support of the terms of the Silver Act. In exchange, he'll look into delaying the work towards civil rights legislation. The room stood silent as well as Wallace's face twisted with calm contemplation suddenly the room exploded with the slamming of a governor's fist onto the desk succeeded by a fiery fierce cackling well gentlemen you can go tell bennett well gentlemen you can go tell bennett that governor wallace shall be considered his proposal to rectify relations with the mpp and the republicans for now however he stopped short clearing his throat a toast to the people of the united states i shakily led our side of a toast and down the liquor before leaving. The president said that was going to be easy, and it actually was. This will raise support for the Silver Act with the Nationalists. Oh, wow. I didn't think that would go through easily. Death of a Supreme Court Justice. <laughs> Appeal to the Mormons. Concessions to Dixiecrats, East Fears, Oak and Businesses. Oh wow, I did not expect that. Hmm. If I try and approach the If I try If I I know this is kind of weird for me to say, but if I actually try to put one side higher than the other to a point where I might be able to get both to be very high, I think I might pull it off. I'm just saying. Because if I pull it off easily without without restraint, I could, I could have the Silver Act pass. Who knows? Keep America straight. Keep America strong. Vote and free. Vote the R&Ds. Unlock decision to campaign for the Demic RDCs. New caucuses for the extremist sides of the MPP can be available for the for the communist for, oh for the communist and the sovereignists. the Dixiecrats are actually pleased. After President Bennett recently passed of an unexpected conservative civil rights bill, the Dixiecrats are unsuringly pleased. In a recent televised statement, Strom Furman, senator from South Carolina and avid civil rights opponent, expressed his gratitude that clear heads prevailed in the Capitol. Overall, however, this is simply a bad look for the president and the RDC. The overt support of a Dixiecrat meant the civil rights bill appears less genuine to the overall public. And thus, Bennett appears to be less concerned with the people and more about getting what he wants. In a recent press, when questioned over his turn of events and whether or not 
his administration is becoming more conservative, Bennett has this to say. I'm just saying, I'm still the, I am still the man I am when I took office. My opinions are my own and have not changed. The Southern Voting Caucus is being pleased with my actions is not a consequence of changing allegiance on my part. Rather, it's a consequence of certain agreements between us, which I assure you have always existed. People are upset because they are, because others are happy. That's just, that's just mad outstanding. Nativist voters will support the Republican Party in one week. Dixiecrat support for the RD will increase by five. Yay. Ooh, state inspections. Sovereign states are extremely opposed to any federal oversight in elections. While it's true that there are aspects of their infrastructure and legislation that are rather unfair to minority communities, we can't risk looking like federal tyrants to giving more legitimacy to the far-right MPP. What we can do is simply advise and encourage the states themselves to examine their own systems and form investigations on state level to root out any discriminatory practices amongst their own people. Many will argue this will lead to an level of bias on the state's part and not, nothing will actually change. While on the other hand, if any true change is to happen, it must come from below, to, from below, from below, as well as from below, as I mean, as well as from above. Well, I mean, if that's the case. I better, I have to keep, I have to keep at that. I'll keep favoring the nationalists for as long as I can. The Good Friday Agreement. Smoke and mirrors. Oh, I see. Let's see. We'll ch oh, okay. We got five conservatives and four liberals. Let's see. We'll go with a liberal, or we can go with a conservative. Since either, since not, since there's nine, we have five and f five and four. So that means if one died, that means it's either gonna flip conservative. We'll just keep going with a conservative one. Or yeah, let's go with a conservative judge. The state of the Supreme Court is moderately conservative, as it's comprised of five five conservatives and four liberals. We'll keep it that way. <laughs> Hollow coins invented. Okay, let's see. More foreign policy. Okay, okay. Let's commit some troops. Coordinate with Australian patrols. Ah, here we go. Equipment shipments. Despite losing access to coastlines, supplying Colombian freedom fighters is not impossible. We'll send all spare part equipments we have to help their cause. Okay, send arm shipments. America wins the issue for liberty and justice. Okay. Bomb the PPLN. <laughs> The MPP runs a lackluster campaign in the Deep South. Not too little, not too late. Voting investigations actually come up empty handed. Federal investigations into alleged discriminatory voting practices in the Deep South come up empty handed. In contrast to several independent claims that literacy tests and poll taxes prevent minorities from voting, investigations by the FBI and other agencies determine that these claims are false and that no violations of the 15th Amendment occurred. Already, these investigations draw on massive criticism from liberal and progressive elements from the country. Groups claim that these inquiries are fraudulent, corrupt, or insufficient as far as the federal government is concerned. However, these claims are uh, uh, unsubstantiated and no legislation prohibiting state-level voting regulations is likely to pass. I mean, but could these investigators be wrong? This will be a controversy that will follow us, follow us for four weeks and impact coalition unity by a negative 2%, and the Labor Democrats will increase by 5 A mediocre RDC campaign. Well, we'll try better next time. 
now we're gonna now we're gonna campaign up on the east coast. Let's see. Not too little, not too late. The supply situation turned into a crisis. We're running out of silver at an unstantiated pace. The Merman's People's Republic declared war on the Republic of All right, now it's just come down to this. Embarrassing the Japanese scientists. Aw oh, man, now I'm gonna deal with the West Africa War? You gotta be kidding me. This will raise our relationship with the with the Dixiecrats, but not really good with the um Oh the Chinese Oh, the Chinese Liberation something, the NPA just started up now. The West Africa War. And De Gaulle, Var Varie Politique. Varie Politique? Is that French? Let, let them come, we shall defeat them all. Campuses and in cities from Los Angeles to Washington, brass card burnings became common, and the chant of, Hell no, we won't go, was the theme of the protest generation. Oh man, West Africa is now in an all-out war against each other, like, like Fortnite battleground against each other until the last ma last alliance stands, and Africa now officially bleeds. Oh boy, that is not gonna look good for France. And now that means I have to actually get myself in. Wait, but what exactly are we doing here, sir? Oh man. Now we're gonna get ourselves involved in the West Africa War. This is just... Emergency price increase. Simply assume and refill. This will increase our liquid reserves and activate the mission of potential inflation crisis. Harsh. The Civil Rights Act of 1966. Never too little, never too late. Central Africa is doing. Okay, Central Africa is doing good. MPP runs a good campaign. Let's see how far we're doing. Democrat support is low for it. The French Liberation Forces have just helped. Let's see. Send in the flying roosters. Wait, did you say flying roosters? That's just funny. Loans for democracy. Oh wow, the Permiesta government really actually just went through like that. How it all started. The nation holds your breath in anticipation. Who were those? Congress enacts daylight savings. Remember, kids, bring forward, but you fall back. 
Oh no, we're not doing no temporary freeze involvement. Japan wins the issue. We need to double down our efforts, gents. We got to. Oh man, this is crazy. Power of a handshake. Invest in diplomats for Italy. Let's see, grant favorable committee assignments. The Northern Democrats are low, like very low. The Warlord Insurrection. In China, the more cracks within the sphere, the better. German hegemony re returns. The, the hack and cruise fall, but it's only a matter of time before it rises up again. Building the Kennedy Memorial. While also making sure we give concessions to the Dixie Cracks. An excellent RDC campaign. Nothing without confrontation. Change will never... Change never comes without confrontation. Oh wait, no, I already did the region. Let's try the west this time. Let's see how our alliance and... Huh. This album is amazing. Oh wow, Indonesia is actually going to get pummeled. I feel sorry for them. Release the Baron. Oh. Yeah. It will largely increase OFN advantage, and the war will slightly escalate. Alright, that's fine by me. Oh, wow. Wow, France's allies are actually really pummeling, pummeling everyone else. Like, it's not, it's not some joke. And they're already pushing into Cameroon. Polls are updated. Lonely France, and this is mine. Let's check off on the horse. The death of Prince Dem Chu Dong. -gro I have no idea how to pronounce that. Oh, but I need my political power. There we go. I love my political power. I do not want I do not want it to go down. Hmm. Increase our negotiated advances. Trade deals. Romania sides with Germany? The Romans just can't catch a break, can they? Do things step by step. All presence men blow the lid in the box office. Critical success despite our faithless. As the old saying goes, slow and steady wins the race. Actually, we'll try and rally congressional support. Lessons from Canada. They just had to push forward. America wins the issue. Okay, let's see if we can, like, lower down the efforts. Yeah, because I want to make sure I, like, at least try to understand everything. Oh, 25 Democrats support everything. Hmm, let's see. Favoring the progressives. Let's see if we can try to get them back on. CIA op Operation Forward. Good riddance. 
Let's see. Wow, West Africa is growing more Francophile. As in, you know, the country of France trusting government. Coordinate with Australian patrols. Let's see. Uh, oh, grant more com ship commitments. Establish bases in Turion. We'll do that for that, that, and them right here. Oh, and expand programs too. There. We need all the we need all the stuff we can get. Very low at 25. Hold a White House meeting again. Wow. Lyndon Johnson's Labor Democrats are strong, but their coalition be lacking. Their coalition. D discontent towards African in interventions. Token civil rights legislation. And this is where I'll end the... Uh, Episode 8 of a Wallace Bennett tree for now, as you can see, well, uh, the in our Indonesian supportive alliance is already kicking Indonesia Indonesia's butt, and, uh, France and West Africa and its two other nations feel like they're gonna really kick both the PALF and the WAA, so, uh, we'll see how things go in future. And I know that I might have messed up in a few areas with Bennett with the conservative civil rights bill and everything else, but I was trying to make sure I try to understand to my best of my abilities. So don't judge me, okay? Anyway, this is Wolferton, so, ha so I hope you Catholics, Mormons, and everyone else have a wonderful day. This is Wolferton, signing off.